guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome to this week's Twin Flame reading for May the 14th until the 24th. I hope you're all doing well. So I've moved locations again. I'll, I'll show you in a little minute. It's I have another window that I'm looking out at the back of my house. Um, I've soundproofed the room, but it really doesn't make that much of a difference. <laughs> I can still um, hear a lot of noise. So, uh, so here's a view from my window. Um, that tree right there, it has white flowers on it. I'm not sure what it's called, but they're all turned right now. It's really beautiful. And this is the rest of the room. It's all padded, but still I hear noise. So I am going to use the John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Um, I think I'll use this for the masculine side, so I'll pull the cards first. Okay, and so for the feminine, John Hahn Psychic Tarot. I think I'll use my deck. Whoa! Um, I'll have to pause that to get those. You'll just have to trust that I'm not going to mess with the cards. All right. So let me just shuffle that again. Okay, so let's begin. Um, if I need to pull clarifiers, I'll use my smaller deck. Okay, so beginning with the feminine's past position, choose wisely, Seven of Cups. So what I see here is somebody retreating um, into their selves. You know, there, there's a guy sitting at the end of the dock there, and he's contemplating he's considering all of his options um, you know and there's a lake here which represents emotional body so he's trying to figure out a way to get to the Sun um, or to connect with somebody so the feminine has felt confused in a daze the masculine five of wands challenging times so we see right away that there's this shield protecting his heart. Um, he isn't in a defensive, or not a defensive uh, pose, he's not in, in an offensive pose where he's ready for battle. He's protecting himself. Um, you know, and the, the face on the shield is very stern, just like his. So he He's had some challenging times and he's, you know, he's alert, awake, aware, um, and ready for a challenge. He's ready for, you know, someone to challenge him. So that's coming up in the past position. So hopefully he's overcome those challenges. In the present position for the feminine, patience and planning, seven of pentacles, another seven. So this is all about, you know, considering the future, <clears throat> the past, um, see where you've made mistakes in the past, you don't continue to make those mistakes. Uh, so this is a forced wait, 
pregnant pause, right? So a lot of stillness that I'm seeing here, no movement, a lot of consideration, um, you know, a lot of planning for the future. The masculine is present is the three of cups, share the love. So that's good. You know, he's lowered his shield and he's now offering his heart and there's a little crack in the heart now that could symbolize that you know this light is starting to emanate from the heart or it could also mean that it's a broken heart as well right it needs mending it needs fixing so in the present position there is love and a desire to offer love Make sure that you guys can see those. All right. Okay. So the near future for the feminine. Wow. Spiritual union. Two cups. So this is meeting your twin flame, you know, your true love and having a deep soul connection with them. Um, you know, this is all about love and em being able to express your emotions freely. And it also talks about, you know, having that three or sorry, 5D connection as well through the third eye chakra so they're sharing this cup of love and love is flowing around them so you know what that's kind of saying to me is that you know there's a possibility of the masculine reaching out to the feminine on an emotional level which the feminine then feels in the near future near future for the masculine detach so this is a justice card so what I'm seeing you know is in the background we have a snow scene um, the leaves have fallen from the tree and this woman is releasing a dove so detaching herself um, so it's a very cold very somber look now Normally the Justice card is all about karmic energy coming back to you. What you put out, you get back. So there is this sense of being closed off in the past, opening up and offering himself, and then letting it go, letting it fly, you know, releasing it to, to spirit. And he knows it'll come back to him you know, it's a, in a good way. Love can, you know, love always wins. Okay, so the, let's leave the final come for later. We'll move into the union energy. So what is the feminine bringing in is shadow. So the moon card is all about your shadow self, your shadow work. So you're asked to look at the image that you're projecting out into the universe. Um, you know, this is the dark side, uh, the things that you're afraid of and facing those fears straight on so there is I'm also seeing a beautiful balance between the dark and the light they're both holding this scepter um, yeah so the feminine is either facing her fears or is being mysterious you know needing answers or even seeing the self-reflection of herself um, the other half of herself just like up here there's that mirroring but this is a dark and light and that's a feminine um, masculine so let's see what the, the um, extended reading says I'll be pulling three additional cards per position for the extended reading um, so what is the masculine bringing in wow throw shocker communication so this is what he's bringing into the union is a desire to communicate to open up to offer to be willing to connect where he was closed off in the past there's definitely this the sense of opening up okay and so at the foundation wow the king of cups so what I'm feeling here is a masculine energy who is finding balance emotionally and mentally and this is somebody who would be willing to offer their heart you know so he's really getting in touch with his emotions this week now for the feminine 
you know, we're seeing signs of that loving connection in the near future. Right now, things seem like they're not moving. Um, yeah. Okay, so the crowning energy justice card again. So the both aspects desire justice. They want things to be, to come to an end for, you know, situations to resolve themselves. Um, they... Yeah, they they want justice. All right. So, as a crowning energy, there is this desire to, you know, make what was wrong right again. And the masculine returns to that energy in the near future, but with a sense of detachment associated with it, where the feminine you know, wants to know which way to go. There's a lot of darkness and confusion here. Okay, so what's at the heart? Base chakra. So this is the, the lowest chakra. This is all about the 3D reality, whether or not you feel safe in a situation, whether or not your basic needs are being looked after. So in the heart space, there is lack at the lowest level. Um... So there's a lot of fears that are being drawn up. And so they want both aspects, desire, that karmic energy, that warmness, the connection, that balance of emotions to return. Um, they feel a void in the heart space. Final outcome for the feminine, eight of swords trapped in fear. So, oops. So this is a mental card. It's a self-imposed prison, so somebody has made her feel this way, that she is trapped, she can't leave a situation. But, you know, these are just thoughts that you believe, right? You have the power to escape from that prison. You just choose not to. So there's also this sense of victimization as well, right? Oh, woe is me, I can't release myself from a situation, so I'm, I'm stuck here. So the mind returns as a final outcome, which is, you know, sad to see after such a beautiful card, that spiritual connection. Maybe you were hoping for something to happen, but the masculine detached from it, and now you're back to square one worrying, you know, in your mind, confused about what the future lies, you know, holds for you. Final outcome for the masculine is reach out, another opening up card. So what I'm seeing here is that there are many levels to a person's um, personality. There are many levels to love. There are many levels to connection. And, you know, it takes tiny steps to get to, to build a relationship, to build a foundation. <clears throat> so the Three of Pentacles does represent a firm, solid foundation. But the words that are crying out, you know, reach out. So share the love, detach, and reach out. So what I see here is, you know, a desire to reach out, not necessarily doing so because the person is just kind of sitting there and they're looking away from the connection. The feminine is basically lost in her mind. Okay, so what is the overall energy is the high priest. So this is somebody who's spiritually awakened, who is um, conscious, who is evolved, and who helps others, you know, guides them out of the darkness, but also guides them on their journey um, through spiritual enlightenment, right? So they receive messages from the universe, they translate that message, and then they share that message in the way of spiritual teachings. So the overall energy is, you know, this spiritual connection. This card also represents the vibe tribe as well. So, you know, I'm feeling a loss, a, a, an emptiness, um, a darkness on the feminine side. And the masculine is going from being closed off to open to closed off to open to closed off, you know, just back and forth. But there is this desire to communicate. 
there is a desire for justice. There is a desire to open up emotionally. But none of that can happen until you have resolved your own issues within yourself. And, you know, you need to be that conscious, that consciousness behind all of this gunk and, you know, desires and wants. There can only be you. There can only be consciousness. And there you will find love. And you will find love for yourself. And only then can you, you really truly connect with your, your twin flame on a 5D and 3D level. Okay, so let me pull one card from Miss and Mermaids. And this will be the final message from the universe. Okay, so this one's for the feminine. Mermaid with pink lotus. So I think that's all about self-love. Masculine. Microcosmic seascape. Okay. So it says, Mermaid with Pink Lotus, close your drowsy drooping eyes and come to me with, par uh, with me to paradise. Leave your cares for just an hour to focus on floating flowers. Let the water soothe your flesh and leave you rested fit and fresh. A fair mermaid drifts languidly among the tangle of lily pads in a tranquil lagoon. A single pink lotus blossom adorns her hair. A second floats nearby in a pool. So relaxed is she that her slight movements do little to disrupt the surface of the water. So the meaning is to make effort to relax. Stop what you're doing and take a deep breath. It's time to relax. You're not selfish and that could be a blessing. Helping your loved ones is an important part of who you are, but sometimes it's okay to set aside your worries about others and take some time for yourself. Maybe you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed. Try not to let it wear you down. Instead, try these relaxation techniques to improve your health and well-being. Number one, close your eyes and imagine a personal paradise. What do you see, hear, and feel? Let yourself become engulfed in these sensations. Allow your breathing to become slow and even, and notice your energy flow through your body. This will help you feel refreshed and rejuvenated. Take a hint from our mermaid friend and let yourself be soothed by the calming water. A walk near a beach or a lake or rest near a bubbling fountain. Can you hear those birds? Oh, I wonder if they'll sing again. Oh, maybe not. I hope you can pick that up. I'm enjoying this spot. Okay. Um, so walk near a beach or a lake or rest near a bubbling fountain can bring inner tranquility. And the, it's like the birds were cued, right? That's so crazy. Number three, are you finding it difficult to relax? A change in environment can be most helpful. There you go, in reducing stress. A short getaway for some pampering at a spa can be just what your body and mind need to chase away the stress. Yeah. So yeah, I see a lot of thoughts, you know, confused. What do I do about my future? You know, um, I feel stuck. I feel like things aren't going anywhere. And then it's just this perpetual... Um, state of confusion and so the universe is telling you it's time to get out of your head everything will work out the way it's supposed to okay so number 15 anytime you try to control a situation or advance on it you know try to manipulate it in some way it becomes tainted it becomes sour you know let it flow to you allow it to come to you Okay, so microcosmic seascape. Storms are brewing o'er the quay. As ships are tossing out at sea, dark and dreary nimbus clouds forms a hard and heavy shroud. Oh, what turmoil rocks the waves, threatening men in early graves. But I can watch without alarm, and know this scene means me no harm. A wide-eyed maiden with ivy-draped hair holds in her arm a glass orb, enclosing a miniature seascape complete with a sailing ship. Although it appears to... A storm is rolling in. Our lady knows she is safely outside of her, of the carefully contained scene. So the meaning is out of harm's way. Someday soon you will bear witness to a traumatic event, but do not fear. You are safe. Although upsetting, the upcoming turmoil is removed enough from your person 
that you will not suffer directly. When the storm arrives, you may feel powerless, but accept that there is nothing that you can do. Some things are outside of your control. You simply have to stand by and watch them transpire. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing stand by. You know, here we we feel that detachment, that allowance, letting go. But there is this longing, definitely, on the masculine side. So don't contain. Allow yourself to open up and express what you truly want to say. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Please, please leave a comment. I love you guys so much. It inspires me. It motivates me. Um, and just knowing that you guys are there supporting me gives me the courage to continue to make these videos. So, um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe. All right, I love you guys. Cheers. Welcome back to the extended reading. So I'm going to be using my smaller deck. Um, actually, I think I'll use my two smaller decks here, the original and this one here. Okay, and give these guys a shuffle. So I'll use these for the masculine side. All right. So the feminine past position, we have the seven of cups. So a lot of confusion, not knowing um, which way to go, a lot of options, um, considering the future. So three cards, the, wow, the seven of cups again, the ten of pentacles, and the fool card. So confusion coming in from the distant past. You know, in the Ten of Pentacles is that long-term goal. It's, you know, retirement, not having to worry about money. Is everybody going to be looked after? Um, so that was in the present position coupled with the Seven of Cups again. So how am I going to get there? Um, and then in the future we have the Fool card. So this is taking a leap of faith, taking a chance, just moving forward, seeing what fate will bring. Um, so complete detachment, but yet there's this new start. Okay, so that's beautiful to see that. Okay, so the masculine had the five of wands. There's that king of cups again. The high priest and the magician. So the king of cups, past position, we have the King of Cups over here as a foundation for the Union energy. So, you know, there was this desire to connect on an emotional level, but then he closed off is what I'm seeing with that. And he did so in order to gain enlightenment, in order to... Um, yeah, just connect with himself on a spiritual level because the Five of Wands is also spirituality. So what I see here is through withdraw, there came illumination. Um, and he needed to do that in order to find balance emotionally. So the Magician is in the future position. So we got two major arcanas here. This is a number one. So again, a new beginning. We have a mirroring over here with the Fool card. So there's this new start or this... Uh, ignition in the in the future coming in from the past so the magician is all about focus control conscious effort um, put forth into manifesting our, your reality so yeah there's something challenging happened causing a withdrawal and from it came illumination Okay, so the feminine's present was the Seven of Pentacles, Solar Plexus, wow, Two of Cups again, and the Ten of Cups. So I just wanted to say, first of all, um, yes, I say, wow, um, I get excited about the cards. I see a lot of synchronicities and stuff like that. Um, somebody, one of the viewers commented on, you know, well, you, you say wow too much, um, you know, whatever else I, I can't really remember but 
the thing is, is that that's the way I speak. And you're asking me to change myself in order to make you feel better. So, first of all, no, I'm not going to change myself. Number two, this this talks about you know your shadow side um, and doing some shadow work what you are picking up on as irritation or triggers is something within yourself that needs to be worked out so you know why is it that you know when I say wow or get excited about seeing synchronicities and whatnot why does that irritate you so you need to do a little bit of shadow work, dive a little deeper, you know. Um, I'm going to keep doing things the way I've always done them. So, Okay, so the solar plexus chakra, the past position. So this is power, strength, courage. It's exerting your will on the world in order to change a situation. So the feminine felt powerful, or she needed to conjure up some power, some strength, or... Or she's holding that strength back because she feels stuck. She feels like things aren't moving. She has no choice but to stay still. Her present position is the Two of Cups. So the near future, we got that Two of Cups again. Um, so we, we feel this 5D connection happening. She recognizes her true love. And she's feeling that love all the time even though there's no movement. And this is going to lead to the Ten of Cups in the future. So this is a happily ever after harmony, peace. You know, so she, again, a sense of looking to the future. Okay, so the masculine's present position is the Three of Cups, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. So the Ten of Swords past position is an ending of something, something completely ended. You've cut something out of your life. It is also the dark night of the soul. So from that ending is a new beginning. So these are stabbing thoughts um, that have, uh, you know, basically caused you to collapse, right? It's, it's feeling betrayed, stabbed in the back. So that came to an ending. So that's why you've been a little um, guarded. But now you're in the space of openness. Okay, you're healing your heart. Um, and that's what the Four of Swords talks about in the present position. This is retreat, finding solitude in order to heal your heart, in order to calm your mind. So that's perfect. You're after that darkness, there is peace. So the nine of wands in the, in the future position. So this is the wounded warrior. You know, um, you fought a lot of battles, but you still have the strength to carry on to fight for what's yours. Um, all right. So this is a sense that there's the finish line is almost there, um, and you know you just got to give it that one final push. So there is rest because there's going to be battle in the future. Just move this out of the way for a minute. All right. So, um, the near future for the feminine is spiritual union. The King of Pentacles, patience, or the Temperance card, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so a lot of 3D um, desires that are kind of showing up for the feminine. The King of Pentacles shows me that the feminine has attained a certain degree of wealth or stability in her life. She is the caregiver. She, you know, is providing for her family, for the future. You know, so this is the King of Earth could be a, an Earth sign, or it could represent the masculine. But he is, you know, the Ten of Pentacles retired. So this is coming from the past. So there's this strong desire to manifest stability and home. So the patience card in the present position is, you know, ha having balance in your, li your life, not overly extending yourself, not, you know, um, 
overindulging in things. So you are being represented as this patient angel in the now, in this moment. And in this moment, there is that spiritual connection with the masculine. So, you know, what I'm feeling in your soul, there's this connection and you're working on manifesting, you know, things into your 3D reality, but it's in a really balanced way. So the Eight of Pentacles is positive movement forward. It's more work needs to be done in the 3D, but you're, you're coming in strong and balanced. Okay, near future for the masculine was the Justice card. Four of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Four of Cups. So the Four of Wands past position is uh, Twin Flame confirmation. Um, so this is commitment, um, the desire to, to be one with your twin flame, to, you know, um, accept a marriage proposal or move in together. It's commitment coming together. So this is what the masculine wants to have returned to him. So we got this energy of sending out intentions with the detached card, also with the Eight of Wands. This is Cupid's arrow sending love out into the universe. So this could be the masculine receiving this love, um, but what I'm really feeling, it's him sending that intention out because we got the Four of Wands in the past and then that intention being carried forward into the future um, twice. So the Four of Cups is in the future, however. So this is somebody who's detached, who feels like things aren't moving, so he's looking to the past wondering where things went wrong, uh, wondering when that energy is going to return to him. Or it could be, you know, turning your back on somebody, not accepting that love and, and regretting it. Um, you know, this card also talks about missed opportunities. Okay, so let's move on to the feminine energy. What does she bring into the union? Nine of Swords the High Priest again, that's three times, and the Nine of Cups. So two Nines and then another Nine here with the Moon card. So we got all these Nines surrounding the High Priest. So Nines are coming to a completion near the end of a cycle. So in the past we have this Nine of Swords ending. Over here we have that mirrored with the masculine, with the ten of swords. So that fear, those stabbing thoughts are completely um, obliterated because, you know, we got the high priest front and center. So this is consciousness, awareness, um, guiding out others out of the darkness, um, you know, being that guiding light in the darkness. So even though there's confusion about this union, there's still that consciousness that is shining forth. And of course, that's going to lead to the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is the hap is, um, sorry, your wishes and dreams fulfilled. And so you're celebrating that, that accomplishment. So this is accomplishment on an emotional level. You're just surrounded by love, friends, family. So we got the Nine of Cups in the future along with the Ten of Cups in the future. So there is this love, this emotional, um, happily ever after and completion on its way. So the masculine is bringing the throat chakra, three of swords, the death card, and the three of pentacles again. Okay, so we have the three of swords in the past position, so this is heartbreak. So what it's really doing here is pointing to this card, right? There was a heartbreak. A crack in my heart um, I've retreated in, you know, in order to heal myself in order to be open because that's the same card right here so again this card is about stability foundation feeling grounded feeling successful um, starting to see the fruits of your labor but that's coming in the future so in the present position we have the death card so transformation metamorphosis you're changing into something else you're changing into this from this person who's closed off who's had their heart broken into somebody who is open and healing and there's this desire to connect uh, you know communicate that 
I feel that the more you communicate, the more connection you feel and openness you will feel. And, you know, that's what this card is showing. This, the King of Cups isn't afraid to offer his love. You know, he, he functions through love. You know, he makes connections at work. That's what makes him a very good leader is because he connects with people on an emotional level. He gets people to open up. He makes people feel like they're part of family. So what I feel is that desire to open up again. Okay, so one card for the masculine first, devil and the feminine. Is a five of swords in reverse. I don't usually read reversals. Um, but in this case, I think I will. Because what I'm seeing here is she's turning the finger pointing from towards her towards the masculine. So, you know, this is conflict, triggering, um, arguments. And it is being directed at this masculine energy, right? And then we got the King of Cups over here coming in from the past. So, um, we have the devil on the masculine side. That's the ego, right? This is that nasty persona that takes over when you feel vulnerable, when you feel like you've lost control. Um, you know, it's all in materialism, right? So it, the ego shines forth. Um, and it's in response to the conflict that's being projected at him. So, you know, the, the feminine could be, de you know, that person who is projecting that energy or she is ref reflecting it because, you know, the masculine's ego is shining forth here and she's not allowing that energy to come towards her. She's turning it around. So we see that kind of finger pointing here as well, like confusion, right? There's no nastiness that took place here. The masculine <clears throat> became closed off with the shield, but from that darkness, there was illumination, right? There's definite sense of going through a dark night of the soul, having his heart broken, but it was self-perpetuated, right? Um, you, you allow the ego to take over. Because I don't see the ego at all on the feminine side. I see a lot of confusion, not knowing what's happening, um, but kind of deflecting it in a way. Okay. But it, there is that desire to reconnect once again in the near future. All right. So um, the crowning energy was justice, one card for the masculine, eight of swords and six of swords. So the Eight of Swords um, is the same card that's a final outcome for the feminine. So they both p depict this imprisonment, right? So, you know, the masculine wants justice. You know, this is a female who's naked and she's dressed, you know, as a cop. So she is Lady Justice. When this card shows up, it means that justice is on his side. So he wants to be released from that mental prison. Um, the Six of Swords is what the feminine wants. She wants to move to a calmer state of mind. Okay, so we, we see a lot of chaos and stuckness and confusion here. So she wants answers. She wants enlightenment, right? She wants stability. She wants to connect at the heart. Okay, so the heart space, mask going first, the crown chakra, and the five of cups. So in the heart space, the feminine is feeling pain. Okay, so this is mourning, feeling loss, you know, and it's causing her to feel abandoned, um, neglected, like her needs aren't being met. Okay, so you know, that's where all this darkness is coming from. Okay, so there is sadness and mourning there. However, the masculine is bringing the crown chakra, which is unusual to see here. We got the lowest chakra combined with the highest chakra. So at the heart space, there is illumination. And again, it's kind of pointing to this area here where he was closed off, feeling 
you know, heartbroken, betrayed, um, but then re-illuminated himself, right? The crown chakra is activated in both those cards. So, yeah, through the darkness there is illumination. So even though there's that shared sense of not feeling safe at the heart space, um, the masculine is awake. And remember, the overall energy card was the high priest. So it's all about consciousness. The feminine um, is creating love. She's, you know, drawing love towards her as a result of that illumination. Okay, so uh, the final outcomes for the feminine, the death card, the four of earth, and the Queen of Swords. So the death card past position. So she also went through that transformation um, out of the darkness, death of the ego, death of your old identity. So a transformation, um, you know, you may have felt like you have had to let go of some things, some issues, but they're coming back to haunt you again. You know, we got this crouched over, sitting in the dark, repeated energy coming in as a final outcome. Now the Four of Pentacles is all about somebody being closed off, right? So there's this masculine energy of, of being closed off and remember that the masculine also got the Eight of Swords over here, which means that he wants to be released from that darkness. He wants that change. It's almost like the masculine's cards are showing up on the feminine side. So, you know, the Eight of Swords is an oppressive energy coming from the outside, so the feminine could very well be picking up on this energy, but deflecting it, and in a beautiful way, she turns into the queen of no fucks given, right? This is somebody who um, is very powerful, a leader, she is very charismatic, and she draws people towards, and we see that illumination, um, awareness, and love being you know, her attracting that into her life. So what I see here is a feminine being a light beacon. Again, repeated theme, that light beacon in the darkness. Okay, and so the masculine is the Three of Pentacles. Oh, sorry, this was the Three of Cups, so it isn't the same card. Um... So what's coming in the future is the Three of Pentacles, which is this card, okay? So reach out. It's still that same theme of wanting to connect and reach out. Wow. The King of Wands, the Moon card, and the Solar Plexus Chakra. And I'm saying wow because the King of Wands is showing up in the same position final outcome as the queen of wands so we got that mirroring happening now the king of wands is also coming from the four of wands that's from the past the king of wands could also be that spark and that rush of energy from the eight of wands so the king of wands again very powerful charismatic the leader shines his light he is he wants to change the world okay so powerful energy and again, it could be a fire sign, but powerful energy coming in from the past. And then the moon card is the same card over here. So confusion, feeling lost, coming up against this dark wall. And so he wants that, that gate to open, that cell to open and free him. So the sacral chakra is the final card and so what goes around comes around this is all about karmic energy returning so where he was emotionally closed off he is then uh, forced to face that that sh you know that blockage the sacral chakra is where your emotions are stored right so this talks about your relationships so this requires power and strength and charisma to make it through that darkness and express your emotions. Open up. All right, we got that microcosmic seascape staring at me over there. And so that's definitely saying that you, you're holding things in, not sharing your deepest desires. I'm just going to close this window. Oops. All right. 
So we'll pull two final cards as the final messages from the universe. What final messages do you have? Okay, so the feminine first is the one ring circus and the magic stream. Okay, um, just one moment. All right, so number 15. So the feminine first. You are capable and competent. Independent, independence is key now as you step into your journey today. Others may not have the vision or resources that you need. Recognize that all the wisdom you've acquired along the way makes you particularly competent, capable uh, of moving forward with assurance. Self-reliance is important. Another aspect to consider is creating and maintaining clear boundaries between you and another by discerning about your partnerships in this, at this time. When you know who you are and have a healthy sense of where you end uh, and others begin, you are able to enter, sorry, um, you're able to enter into the best kind of relationship and will attract people who mirror back your wholeness. Interdependent relationships are always mutually supportive, stimulating, and transformative. You can achieve anything at this time. So, yeah, um, create those boundaries. Like, I feel that you're picking up on this vibration, this negative energy, so don't repeat that cycle. Okay, so number 18 for the masculine. All right. So everything is connected through the universal flow of con consciousness. Every experience you have seems to have its own life story with a beginning, a middle, and eventually an end. However, there is a danger in seeing events as separate from one another, since in fact they are all part of a continuity and a greater evolution. Like an ever-flowing magic stream, your experiences filter through the whole world, one leading into another, informing and influencing still more. Inspiration, invention, and revelations rarely come to just one person. The collective awareness is a shared storehouse of potential. When you remember you're part of a fluid continuity of life, you become a channel for great inspiration. Allow the magic to flow through you and carry your dreams into, rea into reality. Your success will benefit many. So, yeah, what I'm feeling over here for sure is being tapped into that flow into consciousness, into awareness, and we also see that, um, you know, in the heart space, that awareness, right? So you are withdrawing, and again, the overall energy is that conscious flow. So this week you're going to be reaching out, opening up, um, you know, sending good vibrations out into the universe, and that will come back to you in a good way. All right, so I do hope this helped you guys. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, cheers.